Hi, I'm Lynn Marbury with Blackjack Frame Machines. The Blackjack is a tilt-down, drive-on, multiple-pull frame machine that uses vector pulls instead of the big old bulky pull towers. Gives you great access to the bottom of the car. You have full 360-degree pull capability around the vehicle, and uh, it's built right here in Atlanta, Georgia, with American Steel and American Labor. Today, we're going to be working on a 2015 Jeep Wrangler. As you can see, it's had the hell knocked out of it. I'm Adam with Blackjack Frame Machines, and we're working on this Jeep Wrangler this afternoon. The whole front end, including the axle, has been pushed over almost a foot to a foot and a half to the driver's side. And by the time we're finished, this thing will be sitting up here straight and ready to go to the body man. Each machine comes with a center scissoring jack that slides up and down the channel and can be used anywhere, any distance, up and down the middle of the machine. We're going to slide it into place. All the pumps and rams use the same coupler and same pump. Also, if you're not fixing a wrecked vehicle, this bench is a great work spot. You're doing a brake job. You're swapping the suspension on an old car. Everything's right here in front of you. You pull your chair up, and you're not taking up floor space in your shop. You're making use of the machine, even though you're not doing framework with it. If we were working on a normal car with sill clamp pinch welds down along the bottom like this, we would actually use our standard mounting brackets, which actually grab the pinch welds like this. But since this is a full frame vehicle, we'll be using truck saddles, which come with every machine. If you've used a Chief Easy Liner before, you know that you have to drop it specifically into their holes. But with our machine, you've got almost infinite spacing that you can move it around. So just that right there in setup time is gonna save you headache and aggravation. All the bolts on the machine all use the same size socket, an inch and an eighth, and all the hardware is all grade eight quality materials. Now that we've got the rear of the vehicle up and the tires off, the same way we set up the front, we're gonna put the rear in the other truck saddle. These are adjustable, but for this situation, we're gonna run them at the exact same height. And all four truck saddles are made in a jig to where they're all identical. So if the vehicle is sitting in these, you can take exact measurements on it and know whether you're still bent or crooked. Each machine that we sell comes with a roll around tool cart. This one is a five pull, but we also sell the machine in a three. So the benefit of having our tool board is that there's a space and a sticker for everything that comes on it. So when one of your employees loses something, you can go out there and catch it. We're gonna use the anchor blocks and chain to now anchor down the Jeep that we're working on since it doesn't have pinch weld clamps to hold on to. We'll come back. It's adjustable depending on what length you need to be at. This seems about where we want to be. Once again, everything is an inch and an eighth. And that's going to anchor us. And once we put four of these on, it's going to give us the strength and the holding capability we need to use the power we have. We actually have 11 tons from each ram, which by the time it's leveraged to the hook is almost 15,000 pounds of pull. When you multiply that times five, there's no other frame machine on the market that has the force that the Blackjack frame machine can output. Since this vehicle was hit so hard, we're actually gonna set up a counter pull to make sure it stays where it's supposed to be. Something that you can't do with a lot of frame machines because you run out of the number of pulls. Since we have five pulls, we'll be able to make this pull here, moving our side puller, which goes goes anywhere on the side or the front of the machine. Just by sliding off and moving over. We'll put our bolt back in place, our triple socket base, and we're using a soft strap to where we're gonna set up this pull. There's two ways that we could actually set up this pull. If you notice, we're right here on a curve, and if I pull straight, the way it's set up, there's a good chance that this might want to slide backwards. But with the blackjack, you can actually take the ram and move it over one socket to that side and then go diagonal to another chain fork. And when we extend this ram,
We're now pulling at about a 15 degree forward angle, which is maintaining pressure where we need it. Just one more thing you can't do with a tower machine, only with a blackjack. We've now got the machine up in the clamps. We showed you where we put the side pull over here to hold the rear of the frame. Now what we've got set up is something that once again you can only do with a blackjack. Normally with this machine, obviously you could pull forward, but we've got it set up here where we're gonna be pulling not only forward, but that direction with a chain fork holding the chain underneath. Pull number two, same setup. We're pulling forward, we're pulling that way. We also have the chain set up where they're giving us maximum leverage to the direction that we're pulling. It's gonna come right up. Now we move over to pull number one, which is a straight sideways pull using the chain locking forks that come with the machine. All the pumps are on one air manifold and set up in order so that if you wanna use pull number three, pull number two, pull number one, they're all set up that way on the floor. So now that we've got everything set up, I'm gonna pass the torch to my friend Lynn and he's really gonna put the screws to this thing and show you just how fast and how easily we can move the front end of this Jeep back into spec. What I wanna do is keep a little bit of pressure on all of these pulls at the same time. So using our tram gauge, we've determined that the hole for the fender should actually be out where the pin is. So while we still have all four of these other pulls on the vehicle and engaged, we're gonna add a fifth pull, another thing that only a blackjack can do, up here to the fender support and pull it that way while we have pressure on everything else. You can go as high as you want stacking the cylinders on these rams as long as the angle is the same on each side. This distance makes no difference in the equation. But sometimes your chain comes up short. Every machine comes with a mo clamp chain connector and an extra chain. So when you get in these situations, it's as simple as using the chain connector. And now we've got the reach that we need use our pump and determine exactly how far it needs to go. We always pull just a tad farther than we need so that when it sets and comes back, we can get the exact recommended specs from the manufacturer. At this point, we've finished most of the frame pulling. It'll be a lot of hammer and dolly work and then this will get passed on to the body shop and move on to the next person. So when the blackjack arrives in your shop, all your chains, hooks, clamps, everything complete, which includes training, you'll be ready to pull that day. So give us a call. We'd love to talk with you about it. It's 1-800-762-3495. Hope to hear from you, thanks. The drive-on frame rack that beats them all hands down.